Hello viewers and professionals. Let's welcome back another important session. Today we are going to see SAP ABAP debugging part one actually. So I would like to add some scenarios which is useful for functional consultants. This is actually I'm adding based on my experience. It is ma not mandatory to know debugging by SAP SD or MM, all functional consultants, but it has an added advantage if you are in the industry. Certain a time, you can able to check yourself what exactly you are doing, okay? This is the method one I'm showing now. So before that, I would like to tell how to edit and change values by using debugging. Say I'm telling you clearly, this is I'm just trying to operate and stand the tables. This is practice system. It is not allowed to do such kind of things in your production system or else sometimes in quality system. I have some experiences when I try to do that on quality system. This is an instruction. Don't try to do that. If really it is required, you can try in your development system and quality system in implementation projects. No one, no one is going to object you. But Remember that this is the instruction, don't try in your standard tables. Okay, by using debugging, today we're going to uh, like, you know, change the values or edit the values, delete the rows. That's what we wanted to try it. Okay, let's come here. Uh, before that, so these are the courses. Currently I'm holding 2,826 uh, students and with good reviews. So this is the sales and distribution course continuously get updated. This video also will be updated here. So currently it is showing triple line price. Sometimes it, the price varies so 400 to 600. Okay, it is 79 hours. So SAP S4 HANA Simple Logics. This is the one of the course which is specifically required nowadays. So even if you have some experience on SD also, Okay, ECC. So you might have chances to get into the S4 on our projects. This is completely talk about your CV integration, which is, you know, uh, which is good rated course. Here I explain three scenarios, customer vendor integration, how to do that. It is useful for SD consultants, MM consultants and FA consultants to do the master data at customer level and vendor level. And if you have some doubts, you can try stock transfer and intercompany sales with full confidence. SAP SD rebates, okay? Be a rebate expert. And if you have, if you are not yet started to learn the, you know, basics and uh, tough sections of pricing, you can learn this. And along with this, I have one more course. This is SAP SD ECC or S4 on a expert advanced pricing concepts, which actually not covered in this eight hours, okay? So another eight hours, nine hours I have added. It is at advanced level, do practice that one. As for HANA, intercompany sales and consignment sales. This is one of the course, okay? If you are not at the introduced to industry, get master to write functional specification, okay? This is SD business process. These are the different courses available at my end, okay? Probably you can go through these courses if you'd like to enhance your knowledge. As for HANA business process and ECC also it is available. And again, like, uh, so this course is specifically used for end user and you can able to utilize this course. So accept one error, I concluded uh, STOs in S4HANA 2020. This is one of the top course I have, okay? So let's go for the discussion, how to do that debugging, okay? First of all, I would like to ask a question, why we need to debug actually? Debugging is the process uh, to have a change in your program. So to get identify your errors, it's not only to rectify errors. It it's see if you have some something which is not feasible in standard, whereas you try to develop something, there you'd like to fix something by using debugging. You can try to get into your code level where exactly the actual problem is coming. This is how you have to do it. Okay, so it has a different methods. But uh, for functional consultants, you don't require in-depth debugging, but uh, basic de debugging, it is required. Today, session is all about how to edit or change the values by using debugging. The transaction code is slash H actually. So I, didn't, I need not give a depth theoretical overview about debugging. I think everyone knew about this, whoever working as a consultant, functional consultant, but uh, technical consultant, obviously their prime job is this one, apart from their uh, technical developments. So let's try to understand 
I have given a little brief for beginners actually. Okay. And one more thing, these courses I'm giving below of this video links. You, if you want, you can start for it. So let's come to the topic. Okay. Let's go slash H. Okay. Okay. It's got expired. Let me re-log in. So we have logged in. So let me try to show you simple example. Let's go. Probably I will do another part for this. You go to XD02. So let's go for this uh, customer sales area. Okay. It is available in these two sales areas. For this customer, I will show you the scenario actually. Okay. Here. So let's go to the sales area data for our good understanding. You see this sales district, sales office. Okay. If you see this, uh, this one. So it is not defined, but sales districts you have, right? For this customer. Okay. Assume that generally it won't happen, but this process will help eventually on your uh, G transactions, G tables. If it is required to, you have, you can able to clean up and uh, see these are the values not available. Okay. Now let's go to, we'd like to assign by using debugging instead of assigning our configuration. Let's go to 16, SC 16N. Okay. Go to KNVV. This is the table. What are all the important tables we have that I already given in my YouTube channel for SD consultants and it will be useful for new beginners and a website whoever closely working with SD consultants. You can go through it and you can reutilize the opportunity. Let me show you here. Uh, so what is that? This is my sales org. I'm just running this UNCD. Okay. Now you can able to see this. Uh, this is the customer we have opened, right? So it is in two sales areas. Okay. Let's go to the here. For these three, you don't have sales district, right? So like, you know, some other fields will be there. So for example, here, uh, invoice date and uh, invoice dates. And, you know, you don't have planned all these details. I would like to, uh, you know, change by using debugging. Okay, how would I do that? I will show you existing uh, for existing values. Also, I will change you how to edit it. Okay, how to insert also we can do that by using this one here only delete available, right? Let's click the slash H here. Okay, now see this de debugging is switched on. Press enter one more time so that you know it will go to the level. Okay. So it depends on the version actually. So let's click function F7. Okay. Here, if you see this, the place where, right? You can able to see this. Here you type GD slash edit. It is already there. GD slash SAP edit. Press center so that, you know, it will allow a table level to edit it actually. Okay. I'll show you this one. So let's go. So give the capital X. That means active. Okay. Again, you give this one, not small one, press enter. Okay. Let's save this. Okay. So you can click this execute. Okay, so you can click on continue also. Okay, it will come to the initial screen. Now see this, this uh, insertion and deletion rows, copy and everything came, right? If I can able to insert, I can able to insert it. But uh, this table like, you know, this is, this we call it as a unique uh, primary key. With that, we cannot able to do that. You can see this. Uh, for example, so here maximum partial delivery is there. I'm just changing to five. Everything, if I wanted to change it, I can change it. So I'm just modifying the data. You try to observe this one. Okay, this is one thing. So sales district, I would like to copy uh, 
So I would like to take the same sales district. So here, you, if it is configuration, you will get to this F4 selection. Mm. Let me take I'm just taking this one. Okay. So for this, I can copy this one also. So if it is not allowed to save, it will give error actually. So press enter. So let's save this. See, total changed roads seven got updated. Seven rows we have changed. What we have changed? So partial, uh, uh, what do you call it? Maximum partial delivery is five, it is changed. And this is changed. So let me try to fill in. In quote terms, instead of test, I would like to change it as. Hamburg. Okay, this is a German location. I'm changing here. See, whatever you want, you can able to change it. But uh, it is not, it is not guaranteed. Okay. So one second. Everywhere you can able to do certain tables. Like what happens actually in real time, you will have a locks for that. No one is going to access, admin access will be there. Okay. Okay, again, seven rows got updated. So see, now I change in Inco term is Hamburg. Let me try to do it. See, now if I change one row means one row will be updated. Okay. Let me do this here as well as. Okay, let's save this. So now you have done some modifications. If I would like to change it, uh, I can deselect it. If I don't want it, I so for example, this customer is there at header level, this is there. If I don't want it, I can select, I can delete it, delete it also, okay? If I delete it, what it will happen, okay? UN and UU is there, our division. So what is this? One row got deleted. First, let me check this customer for this customer what we have what what the changes you you made deleted right let's go to the screen actually xd03 so now you can see this it sends with four right so it's with un See, customer has not been created for this sales area. Actually, this customer, what happened? This customer got created. So you got an error, right? Let me share my screen. Okay, I'm not able to see this uh, screen actually for you. Let me open the help actually. That screen I can share you. Error on my sharing, it is not coming. Okay, so when I try to enter for the sales area, this is the error is coming actually. Pop up, I cannot able to share it. Okay, no problem. This is the change we made it. Okay, so now let's go to this customer. This customer, what you did it? You did it, you changed the district actually. So let's come. Let me try to share the screen. Okay, for this customer, you can see this. So I don't want it UN, it is in UU. This customer is there in UU sales area. Let's press enter. You can see this, let me share my screen.
so we have changed the sales district and uh, what are the other details we have changed better go for this customer You can see this, uh, this is uh, got this one, okay. So let's go to the screen actually. I have closed the screen. So let's execute this. You can see this uh, for this customer, okay? Zero one is district. We have SN three, three actually, double zero three, and partial deliveries is five. And what are the other change we have taken? I think uh, these are the two changes we have taken, okay? And above one is FOB we kept, and partial deliveries. Let me show you this one. So let's come here. Let's answer the see this customer, you know, this is the one go to the shipping tab. You can see partial delivery is five updated. Okay, for this customer. Uh, if you want, uh, uh, if you want, you can go to other customer. Let me show you some other details. For example, if it is zero, press enter. Now see this partial delivery five updated for this ends with zero, go to the sales. You can able to see this. This is the different sales district. It is got updated. This is how you can able to perform operations on your custom tables. Generally, it is not advisable to do on uh, standard tables. This is how for edit, delete, uh, change, you can able to play with your debugging. Okay. I think this is important session because I have uh, reutilized my knowledge here. Uh, so for your learning initially only so in projects I have learned this thing. Okay. Thank you very much It was forcefully happened because of one project, but sometimes I didn't use For around five to six projects. I don't require this one. So Uninstalled like you know learning is always good. Thank you very much. Have a great day More importantly Jai Hind whatever you learn okay please subscribe my channel and uh, thank you subscribe my courses in order to enhance your knowledge